ice, water, and steam. They look different, but all of them are each two. How can they look different when they are all having the same identity? Hi everyone! Welcome to Siri Pensyara Kimia Awa. For today's video, we are going through to this topic that is states of matter. So matter comes in three different forms. We have solid for ice, liquid for water, and gas for steam. Each of the states have different properties in terms of arrangements of particles, shape, density, and compressibility. Let us have a look at how the ice particles look alike. As you can see, the particles are closely packed in orderly manner minimum spaces between the particles. As a result, solid has a big shape, definite volume and high density. In addition, due to the small spaces between the solid particles, solid cannot be compressed. On the other hand, the arrangement of liquid particles is slightly different than that of solid. Less have a look. Here, liquid particles are arranged closely but not rigidly with a small amount of space. As a result, liquid follows the shape of the container as the particles are free to rotate and move around slightly. Liquid also has definite volume but generally with a moderate density. In terms of compressibility, liquid is nearly impossible to compress due to tiny spaces between the liquid particles. Lastly, let's have a look at the arrangement of the gas particles. Now we look at how the particles are arranged. We can see that the particles are far apart from one another with a huge space between them. As a result, gas is easily compressible and it has low density. Furthermore, gas takes the shape and volume of the container. Despite these general characteristics, there are certain anomalies that can be found in nature. In the case of H2O, its liquid form is denser than its solid form. This is why ice flows in the case of iceberg. This will be further discussed in other videos. In this video, we have covered the different properties of solid, liquid, and gas. They are different due to their particle arrangement, which affect the shape, size, density, and compressibility. This, in turn, affect how matter can present itself. This was shown earlier in the example of H2O, whereby it can exist as solid for ice, liquid for the water, and steam or vapor for gas. So, that concludes this video. If you like this video, click the thumbs up button and don't forget to share and subscribe. Bye.